Hello, I'm author Maureen Anderson. Welcome to today's episode of Moments in Black History. When this poet was born in 1913, Asa Bundy Sheffy's foster parents had no idea when they named him, it was a name destined to be remembered. Allow me to introduce you to Robert Hayden. Long before the youngest poet laureate, Amanda Gorman, graced the steps of the Capitol to deliver her inaugural poem in January 2021, Robert Hayden became the first African-American to hold the position as consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress. The role is better known today as the United States Poet Laureate. Robert Hayden held the position from 1976 to 1978. He accepted the appointment as Poet Laureate when he was 62 years old. Growing up, Hayden wasn't like most boys, playing basketball in a park or stickball in the middle of the street. He dealt with extreme nearsightedness and turned to books which were friendlier to him than sports. The voracious reading habit magnified Hayden's relationship with words and the transformative nature of literature. Early in Hayden's writing career, he met Langston Hughes, who read Hayden's poetry and offered helpful advice that shaped him into a future award-winning poet. While the subjects of Hayden's poetry included Black figures such as Malcolm X, Frederick Douglass, and tributes to Harriet Tubman and others, African-American communities, and African-American history, Hayden insisted on being identified as an American poet versus a Black poet, an assertion which spurred great criticism from the African-American community. I'd like to read the first stanza of Hayden's poem, Those Winter Sundays, a poem that expresses the sacrifices parents make for their children and children aren't always grateful. Sundays too, my father got up early and put his clothes on in the blue black cold. Then with cracked hands that ached from labor in the weekday weather made bent fires blaze. No one ever thanked him. Mm. Those Winter Sundays is a part of the collection of poems in Hayden's book, A Ballad of Remembrance. The book earned Hayden two Hopwood Awards, a grand prize at the Dakar World Festival of the Arts, and the post of consultant in poetry to the Library of Congress. Did you know that prior to being elected as Poet Laureate for the United States, in 1966, Hayden was named the Poet Laureate for Senegal. I'll leave you with this quote from Robert Hayden. Art is not an escape, but a way of finding order and chaos, a way of confronting life. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Black history. Please remember to click the button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click thumbs up if you like this episode. Ciao for now.